The overall range of your Genesis may depend on many factors such as the battery charge percentage, traffic conditions, weather, regenerative braking settings, and driving style. But there are still some key tips you can keep in mind to improve your EV's efficiency and range. After you first receive your vehicle, the accuracy of the distance to empty display may gradually increase or decrease by learning your vehicle usage and driving patterns. This is calculated over the previous 300 miles of driving history. If you operate the air conditioner or heater too much, more energy is used for heating or cooling, and less is available for driving range. It is recommended to set the cabin temperature to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This setting provides optimal energy consumption rates while maintaining a constant temperature. Energy consumption is also reduced when recirculation mode is selected instead of fresh mode. This reduces the need to heat or cool large amounts of outside air. For use when you are driving alone, driver-only climate control can reduce energy consumption by applying the climate control to the driver area only. Selecting Scheduled Climate allows the activation of pre-scheduled cooling or heating to a desired temperature. Pre-scheduling cooling or heating to take place during charging can allow you to get underway with the cabin at a preset temperature, reducing the energy needed once underway. The seat and steering wheel heater and preconditioning can also be used to lessen the need for heating or cooling. When driving, press on the accelerator pedal smoothly and gradually and stay at moderate speeds. Maximize the use of regen braking to charge the battery when reducing speed. EV battery energy consumption is increased by hot or cold temperatures and is far more noticeable in cold weather. In cold weather, pre-scheduling heating to take place during charging helps enhance electric vehicle performance by heating the vehicle in advance. A power limited due to low EV battery temperature charge battery warning message may display when outside temperature is low. If you see this, charge your EV as soon as possible. You may select battery conditioning mode under EV settings to increase battery temperature and improve driving and DC charging performance in cold weather. However, this will reduce the overall driving range and can only be activated when selecting a DC fast charger as the point of interest on the onboard navigation system. In order to check the current energy consumption for each system of the vehicle, from the home screen, select EV, select the car, and then electricity use. Drivetrain shows the total energy consumption of the driving motors and regenerative braking. Climate shows the energy consumption for the heater and air conditioner. Electronics shows the energy consumption used by vehicle systems, including the cluster, infotainment system, headlights, and more. Battery care shows the momentary energy consumption used when heating the battery during winter mode or cooling the battery in the summer. While charging, certain sounds may be heard that are normal. The air conditioning system may be used to control the battery temperature and the AC compressor or cooling fan may turn on. High frequency noise may also be heard when charging with older DC charging stations or those with communication delay. This is the vehicle reducing electromagnetic waves to maintain charging and is normal. Note that natural degradation may occur with the high voltage battery depending on the number of years the vehicle is used and this may reduce the overall EV range. For more information on your Genesis, be sure to explore the how-to videos on the Genesis USA YouTube channel as well as consult mygenesis.com and your owner's manual.